Hello iPodders. I'm here to introduce you to the, uh, an update of the American iPottery ebook. And so um, I set up my iPad here and here's a screen that shows the book section and then the iBooks shelf here that appears. And I have the contemporary American Pottery ebook there on the shelf as well as the proof for American iPottery. Tap that. <clears throat> and you can see Ben Kripka's piece on the cover that goes to the chapter headings and you can slide through the, with this rectangle to get to each chapter um, that shows each chapter and you can go to each artist by going to any one of these names as well and so with Andrew work is here and we have the gallery images you can go through each one as well as uh, going through the interactive image here, and that shows um, <clears throat> that aspect. You can enlarge it and explore it in a larger image as well. And you have the captions of particular points that the artist wants to make. You can close that, and of course we have a series of gallery images in these, like so, and you can expand this to full uh, size and go through them uh, like this. You can also eliminate uh, the captions below and just have the images themselves. You can collapse that back like so. <clears throat> you can go through each page through the sections like this. I have some standalone images that aren't in galleries and I have done those to uh, for design purposes and these come up and you saw that in the previous video and we can close this as well and we go to various chapters like this by um, navigating like so the m's for example uh, here's george's work <clears throat> and you can also email each person by just tapping on the email as indicated before um, ebook <clears throat> and you can also go to their website like so and instantly see the website uh, from the ebook. Um, let me go back to the ebook like this. And um, the last thing I wanted to show you uh, that's in the developmental stage is the um, three dimensional object. Uh, I'm going to the X's because there are no X named potters in the ebook, but I'm using this page to demonstrate the three-dimensional uh, image that I would like to work on next. And I will be sending you an email uh, explaining this particular aspect of the project. And so it shows the, you know, the kinds of things that you can do with the, uh, the 3D object in the book as well. And there's one more here. This is not Gwendolyn's, but it's an example that I put in uh, of the uh, particular kind of 3D file that it, the iPad uses to show its capabilities. And so that's next on the agenda, and you'll be getting an email from me uh, very soon. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'm looking forward to working with you on the next part of the project. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.